Kim Delzel here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me in my room of shame. I'm not going to show you all of it, but I decided I need most of the space in my house clean, so I've kind of corralled everything that I need to do into two rooms, and this is one of them. This is my corner of the room where I do my ironing and my steaming. I had a run of bad luck for three days in a row, and then I had a few days where nothing tore up, and then I was getting ready for my son's wedding reception, and of course my iron started spotting really, really badly on my dress. And my steamer, which I tried to use, it just quit. It wouldn't work on me at all. So I need to clean this iron. I've done it before. I'm going to show you how I clean this iron. You can see the um, deposits in there. We have super hard water where I live. Super, super hard water. And I admit that I'm guilty of putting regular water in here when I need to put, ta uh, not tap water, but distilled water in there. But I've been lately putting Dasani water in there. But it still needs to be cleaned. I'm going to show you what it does. This is an old t-shirt that I wear to the gym. I'm going to show you what happens when I try to when I try to iron and use the steam feature. It's leaving little pieces of lime deposit on my clothes. So the, the steam is like getting in the way, interfering with the picture. But you can see all that. That is not acceptable for my dress clothes. I really don't want this on the back of this shirt, but I'm going to clean the iron with vinegar and see if it improves. What I'm using is uh, vinegar and I have a just a little cooling rack that fits down inside my sink because I'm going to obviously steam this vinegar out and I don't want it falling on anything so going in the sink is going to be fine and actually the vinegar might help take any residue that might be off of the bottom of my sink as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to Dump all the water out of the iron. I don't have a funnel that's small enough, so I'm going to have to be really careful, I guess. If, or I'm waste vinegar. This would be easier to do if I poured it into a smaller container. Or if I was using a vinegar container that wasn't quite full. I set the container down, or I stopped filming because it was more difficult to try to fill this while holding the camera. I needed two hands to pour this in. So I completely filled it. I think I filled it past the water fill line. I'm going to put the iron down on this. I'm going to plug in the iron and put it on cotton. I'm going to let it sit here and steam for a little bit and hopefully those lime deposits will work their way out. It's pretty bad so I may have to do this twice. So I'll have it plugged in into the outlet and it's by the sink. Everything's safe. I'm not going to be messing around this. There's nothing in here that's going to catch on fire. There's nothing under here that's going to be harmed by the heat or the steam and there it goes. If I want to speed it up a little bit faster, I can give it a couple of bursts on that. But I really want this, oh my gosh, it smells horrible. Vinegar just smells so bad. But I really want it to clean those vents out. So it's going to tell me, it's going to stop doing this and I'll have to come back and um, set it up and keep doing it like that so it won't automat automatically cut off because I do have auto cut off iron. Oh, it smells so bad, it's choking me. <coughs> I'm also going to give it a few squirts of this because there's going to be lime build up in there as well. Right now nothing's coming out so it's probably totally clogged up. <coughs> so I'll try that at the end. Oh my gosh. It's only been a couple of minutes but you can see the crud that's already working its way out with the vinegar's cleaning. And that is in my iron. And little bits of that are wanting to come out of my clothes. Anything else that I iron, it really needed cleaning. I'm probably going to get a damp bath cloth and wipe that off. I have an old white bath cloth. So I'm going to carefully wipe this off. Gosh, look at that. Mm. 
This smell is so bad. I'm going to have to spray some Bod Man or some other fragrance in my air return vent to get this vinegar smell out of my house. I will link that video at the end of this one. It's time to set the iron up. Let's check it again. Look at that. How much crud is coming out of this iron. Oh, it smells so bad. I had to give up. I opened the window. <laughs> All that stuck in that iron. Keeping it from steaming and trying to come out on my clothes. I had to get a little fan to try to blow some of this out and it jumped off the countertop in revolt from the smell. Whew. Look at that. I'm gonna wipe it and keep going. This is a third wipe filled with vinegar for our second time. I think I'm going to set the fan in the window to see if it'll suck the smell out. The fan is not drawing out the vinegar and steam like I thought, so I'm going to move it back. I think it did better pushing it. This iron has a self-clean feature. That it doesn't, I don't think it really works on, on I don't think it really works well with the type of water that we have. I really need to start putting distilled or bottled water in here. But you can still see some of the stuff that's coming out of the bottom. It's still dirty on the inside. I should have videotaped it, but I've been testing the, the spray that comes out of the nozzle on the front, and I just finally got it to spray. It did have been locked up pretty badly. So it's spraying now. So the vinegar is working. And it's becoming less nasty each time. It's almost empty. I'm going to fill it one more time with the vinegar. There are still just a few stubborn spots that need to be cleaned. I can't videotape it, but tilting the iron like this and using two hands to hold the vinegar is making it much easier to pour since I don't have a funnel that will fit a little spot. Another alternative would be to put the vinegar in a smaller measuring cup and pour it in that way. Since I actually have a measuring cup that has been um, discolored by the lime, because I usually use this in the morning to microwave about a cup or so of water to pour through my neti pot to disinfect it, I am going to pour the vinegar in this and use it to put in the, to the iron, because that will help take care of some of this. If I had thought ahead, I would have done this from the get-go, right? Taking care of two problems. That is much easier. Hopefully there'll be enough uh, vinegar residue left in this measuring cup that it's going to take care of most of the water problem in there. Let's see how that filled it out. Oh, it doesn't even take a it doesn't even take a whole cup. I'm putting one more round in here, then I'm going to see how it, how it does. The smell is so horrible that. I actually had to stick my head in the freezer just to breathe in a different type of air. It's burning my mucus membranes. It's never done this to me before, but it's probably what I get because normally I clean this iron really frequently and it has been a long time since I've done it. There's still yuck coming out. Put the bath cloth down on the other side and moving it back and forth. It's See if that will help rub some of it out. If that steam would go away, you could see. Still nasty. Still little pieces of crud in there.
just when I was about to quit, I did some of this and got that. So I guess I'll keep on going. I'll put another, I think it's taking about three fourths of a cup of this. I'm going to do another round. It has just about quit spitting out nasty stuff, so I think I'm going to run some plain water through it to clean out the rest of that. And I just put some water through a coffee filter. I'm going to use that. I think there's enough vinegar left in here that the lime in my water is not going to hurt it too badly. But I need to run clean water through here a couple of times before I use it to iron. I'm going to use it to iron the same black shirt and then iron a few things that are going to be safe before I put it on any of my good clothes. So I'm going to add some of the filtered water and just repeat the same process that I've been doing to try to clean this vinegar out. At least it should smell better. So now I'm to, about to the max fill line. So I'm still getting the dark stuff out. Wipe that off and keep doing it. I've learned if I tilt it forward a little bit. Well, usually it won't do it now because I'm telling you it is. But usually a little bit of water drips out. It brings with it some nasty. It's getting there. It's on its last cleanse. I just want to show you how nasty this huh, it formerly was fought. And that was where I was wiping it off from the beginning, and this is where I was ironing it off secondly, and then that's where I started, um, I guess, ejecting it's the best word. And this is what I just got after I put the last bit of water in there. So I'm glad I didn't give up too early. Honestly, I could probably put another squirt of another dose of water in here to get some more of that out. I'm going to go ahead and test it on the black shirt to see if the white stuff's coming out. And I'm going to be very careful and iron only old things for a while until I'm pretty sure this iron's not going to do that to my clothes. It looks much better. Using the cup to contain the vinegar was enough to get the film off. It's pretty nice. I put more filtered water in and I'm heating it up. I'm just going to check it one more time. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I did. Looks like I'll be cleaning it on a towel before I put it in on any clothes. I finally think that most of it's out. Here are the white stains on the black shirt. I'm going to put this one right beside it. This is before the vinegar cleaning. This is after the vinegar cleaning. It looks like there still might be some residue in there. So I'm going to iron things I don't really care about. But it is much better. I I uh, squirted the water out of the iron about a couple more times on a white cloth and I was able to iron my clothes. I ironed some jeans first and then I was even able to iron my white pants and no residue. So I'm very happy that my iron is clean. It also cleaned my measuring cup. Awesome. Thank you for watching my video about how I clean my iron. It's really made my eyes water and my nose run, but that's okay because at least I'm unstopped, right? Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Share the video if appropriate. Until next time, take care.
Sorry, Alexa, bad at Bantha Gym. And steaming. <laughs>